So are you considering second hand for your next appliance? Consumer Reports says that you could score big depending upon what you're looking for. Consumer investigator Lauren Verno reveals some tricks to getting a bargain when buying used and also some potential pitfalls to avoid. The used marketplace is huge with online selling platforms like eBay, Facebook and Craigslist making it easier than ever to shop around. But is it a good idea to buy used appliances? Consumer Reports says it depends. Buying your next appliance secondhand can be a win-win. You'll save money and the planet. That's according to Consumer Reports' Perry, Santana, and Chody. Maybe you're on a tight budget or you're just trying to prevent yet another hunk of metal from entering the landfill. But you could also be getting a high-end appliance with features you wouldn't be able to afford otherwise. Consumer Reports says when it comes to secondhand appliances, skip yard sales and online sites like Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace. These types of sellers usually can't offer you a guarantee or warranty on the appliance. Instead, hit a local reputable repair shop or use appliance store early and often to nab the best deals. You could save 50% or more even if the appliance hasn't been used at all. Your best bets for buying used washers, dryers, ranges, and refrigerators. But no matter what you're shopping for, find out how old the appliance is so you can calculate how much life it has left and if it's worth the price. If you're spending $200 on a 10-year-old refrigerator with an average useful life at value in your mind, ask yourself if it's worth it if you're only going to get two years out of it. The brand you buy often makes a difference too. Data shows some are more reliable than others. CR's reliability surveys of thousands of members found that LG, GE, and Kenmore all earned a good or higher reliability rating for their fridges, ranges, washers, and dryers. If you find something you love, Consumer Reports says, take a closer look before you buy. Plug in the machine, look for any damage, rust, check the buttons and knobs, do a smell check for mold, and read the manual to make sure all the parts are included too. Finally, don't be afraid to negotiate. You could end up saving even more. So Consumer Report says always find the manufacturer's sticker and check if that's been included in a safety recall. If the machine doesn't have a model number and serial sticker in place, skip it. It could have been recalled or scrapped and illegally salvaged. Now to check for recalls or get more buying advice from Consumer Reports, just go to newsforjacks.com slash Consumer Reports and look for the direct link inside this story. I'm Consumer Investigator Lauren Verno, Channel 4, The Local Station.